but I know that there's a common question which people were asking um, during the share, uh, not the share point, the power apps uh, success path. Uh, I had a few questions around um, how do I actually get a, a power app that I've built into into uh, into SharePoint. And whilst I'm here on the topic of kind of design, web parts, and all that sort of stuff, I thought I'd quickly uh, uh, I'll quickly show you. So hopefully I can do this directly on this site. Um, so what I can do is I'll just go ahead and add a new web part. And if we go and search for power apps, you see here we've got Microsoft Power Apps. And it's now asking for app web link or ID. And this is where a lot of people uh, seem to seem to get stuck. So what I will do quickly is just head over to Power Apps. And we're going to go grab a ID of an app. Uh, we'll go use my LMS app. Um, as I know that is a, a functional app, which gives us a second to load. We'll move to the right environment. Learning management system. And what I'll do is I'll go into um, the details of this app. So I'll find my app, hit the ellipsis, and press details. And you see here that we've got the web link here, or we've got the app ID. I prefer just to go and copy this app ID. And we just can paste that into um, uh, into here. It shouldn't take a second to load. And there you go. I'm not sure what this toggle is. OK, I don't ever remember adding that toggle, but it's there. <laughs> um, and then once we're happy with that, we can just republish. And that's how you can embed a power app um, into your um, into your pages. And again, this is fully functional. So everything, all of the design and aspects of this app um, fully functional as well. Um, it technically just works as a uh, um, as an HTML embed within a, a page behind the scenes. So I can go and actually uh, have a look at uh, have a look at all of the uh, all of the content in that app as well.